already panning the Nico and All-Star Brawl 2. Which isn't too surprising. Again, I don't care. Most people don't care about the journalists think. Okay. You know, these are the same journalists who will give The Last of Us Part 2 growing reviews. And call it the greatest game of all time. But they'll pan the Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom remake. Because it's an old game. So it sucks. You know. Not knowing how, you know, important that game is to so many people get being remade and how so many people love that game. As well, so Nickelodeon All Star Brawl 2 has okay reviews by the fans, at least the ones who voted on the thing who played the game, which means the average score is probably around similar to how it is on Steam as well. Game has an average score of 7 out of 10, despite the journalists not liking the game. Which, you know, it's pretty funny. The journalists are the ones. Actually, the journalist score is 76, but some of these journalists were, like, tearing the game apart. But it's just an average game, really. It isn't really anything, you know, special or new. The game is better reviewed than the first game. I'll give it that. Their first Nickel and All Star Brawl had pretty bad reviews. Views of 6.5, and there's no user score because of. Because they want to protect The Last of Us Part 2 on Metacritic. Okay? They want to protect The Last of Us Part 2. Yeah, really, really good idea. Okay? But this is out of 9 critic scores. 76 out of 100, of course, that may drop. A lot of the critics were saying the game was rust, janky, clunky like the original, okay? You know, you know, it is a rack course of sequel lacking death and variety, okay? According to PC and Bazin. I bet they probably gave The Last of Us Part 2 a 10 out of 10, calling that game a masterpiece, but we have to wait until the user score comes in. We have the user score at least for our, you know, and... 51% of people said it was great. 80% said it was good. Meanwhile, 12 and 7% and 12% said they didn't... Around 7% thought the game was bad and 12% thought it was awful. So, using this scoring system, around at least 20% of people do not like the game. Okay. 12% of people can... Spot the game was mediocre. We also have uh Pascal that movie like movies. Uh despite being a quote unquote critically acclaimed movie, uh twenty eight percent of people didn't like the movie. We can go further down after FNAF, but we can also go down to the killers of the Fall Moon. Most people who actually saw the movie liked it. Sixty nine percent of people liked the movie. But twenty percent of people didn't like the movie. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, the people who watch my videos do not like Taylor Swift because that's. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But yeah, Nick will also Brawl 2 does released. And it seems that the fans, because Metacritic, but if you compare Nick will and also Brawl 2 to any like modern release, any other game. It's probably far better than Diablo 4 and other, and all these microtransaction filled games they keep coming out with. Because at least, Nickel and All-Star Brawl 2, at least the developers have the decency not to put a live service bullshit in the game. Or microtransactions. I'm not counting DLC as microtransactions. Okay? That's, there's no content that is on top of the game. I'm talking about like, oh... You have these fake, you have cosmetics that are locked behind, you know, you know, either you have to play the game a lot, or, or you get to pay with real money, the, you know, this co this in-game currency. And I don't think they have that bullshit in the game. I think that's why, at least the fans are not dissing the game, like the new Call of Duty, okay? Okay, and of course the new Call of Duty isn't out yet, Okay. But people are already basically saying the game is complete garbage. Like they like you can get the game early. Okay. Which is weird. But yeah, you can get Call of Duty early. And it's funny though, women say, oh, we're not gonna get no Call of Duty this year. Oh yeah, you're still gonna make a new Call of Duty, okay? At least Call of Duty fans, at least they can get a new game every year. Okay? 
other franchises you have to wait like a decade or so, like Pikmin or Elder Scrolls or Fallout, because game developers, you know, instead of making, you know, quality games of, you know, no, with not a lot of bugs, because they want to make this most greatest and grandiose game, which I also think that's why gaming industry is dying, because they want to make these grandiose games, but you just have to wait so long for one game, okay, you know, like, for example, like the Transformers movies, okay, they were able to pump out these movies relatively frequently, okay, <laughs> okay, last night, three years from Age of Extinction, Age of Extinction, three years from Dark of the Mood, Revenge of the Fall, Dark of the Mood, yeah, these movies are not, you know, considered quality movies, but at least, they're pumping them out, like, you know, Elder Scrolls, oh, you have to wait ten years for the next Elder Scrolls game to come out, because, or, it will say, you know, five years for the next, you know, this game or this series to come out, okay? Like, Nintendo, at least they work on other games. Like, Nintendo, they they say, hey, get newer people to buy our games, okay? In Mario Kart, okay? Like, the, even Nintendo doesn't start with Mario Kart 8, but at least Mario Kart 8, the reason why they released that game was because the Wii U failed and they wanted, to put, they wanted to make some people play Mario Kart 8, okay? The Switch, I think Nintendo wants to probably continue that wrong in a traditional console because the Switch, the Wii U failed. They want to surprise so wait until the, the next places and the next Xbox comes out. Which I wouldn't be too surprised if that's the case for the next Nintendo console. But yeah, we'll get into that video very soon. And that's it about this video here. Goodbye.